President Obama is facing mounting criticism of being too cautious this morning for having no military strategy to confront the ISIS terror group in Syria and Iraq. Militants are recruiting hundreds of U.S., British, and Canadian citizens to join their mission. Some lawmakers say the recruits could return to carry out attacks on their homelands. Nancy Cordes is at the White House, where administration officials are defending their progress. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. And the White House insists that a military strategy is being developed by the Pentagon right now and that it's important to gather together international partners instead of trying to go it alone. But that process is starting to frustrate some Republicans and Democrats. Even as the Pentagon conducted surveillance for airstrikes in Syria, lawmakers argued the White House should be moving faster to confront the terror group known as ISIS. I think I've learned one thing about this president, and that is he's very cautious, maybe in this instance too cautious. But in an op-ed over the weekend in The New York Times, Secretary of State John Kerry argued we need the world's help to defeat ISIS. He called for a global coalition using political, humanitarian, economic, law enforcement and intelligence tools to support military force. Arizona Republican Senator John McCain argued the U.S. won't be able to attract that coalition if it doesn't show strong leadership. We have to have a clear strategy dictated by a policy, and that policy has to be we have to defeat ISIS, not contain, not stop, but defeat ISIS because they are a direct threat over time to the United States of America. White House officials point out the U.S. has gone after ISIS in neighboring Iraq. Three more airstrikes against ISIS forces were conducted this weekend to support humanitarian aid drops and to help break a two-month siege of the town of Amurli. But Syria is trickier. There, the U.S. faces a hostile ruling government and has less on-the-ground intelligence. Washington State's Adam Smith is a top Democrat on the House Armed Services Committee. It takes time to build a coalition. We can't simply bomb first and ask questions later. And the president will work on building that coalition when he meets with top European leaders at the NATO summit in Wales later this week.